of Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for being with us. We realize you've got a lot on your plate, no pun intended. What in you know what is going on in your Commonwealth tonight? What's what's going on? I mean, it really the same thing that's always been going on uh, with with the election. You know, uh, this Amway convention slash carnival parking and snake handling at the Ramada doesn't change any facts about Joe Biden winning it. And there's no additional voter fraud aside from the two cases that I've been talking about for the last three weeks. There is absolutely nothing new under the sun. Joe Biden won. And what's curious is, is that if the rest of these down ballot races aren't certified by November 30th, we won't have a House, a Pennsylvania House and half our Senate because the terms expire on November 30th. So there really is no end game for getting these results turned over. When you this is regarding your state, your Commonwealth, um, uh, you took an oath of office to hear a guy like Rudy fly into your state and make claims of sweeping massive voter fraud must piss you off at a very deep level. Yeah, it's it's it, 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 I don't t take it seriously because no one really takes, you know, Mr. Giuliani seriously. Everyone knows how this movie's going to end. Like I said, it's it's just this it's just this sad, you know, like weird pyramid scheme marketing uh, thing at a ballroom at, at the Ramada, and and like this wasn't an official function of the Pennsylvania State Senate. I'm the I'm the president of the Pennsylvania State Senate. There was no no nothing official about this. This was simply just some weird rally uh, in a hotel ballroom designed to spread more information because that's all it is. All they have is lies. They've had over three weeks now to come up with anything concrete, and they haven't. Where's the Where's the voter fraud? Not one single case of voter fraud, aside from the two established cases in Pennsylvania, which both involved Republicans trying to vote for Trump with their relatives, whether they were dead or living. Well, at least you've got Republican lawmakers at the White House tonight where they make the COVID fresh. They'll be coming back home after that gathering this evening. How does this yeah, leave your time. opposition party, the, Repu the Republican Party in Pennsylvania after this? Do you think they'll be healthier or poorer for having been dragged through this process, in some cases helping lead this process? Well, I, I understand there's elements in, in the Republican Party that need to pander to this, uh, to this lunatic fringe slash death cult that that uh, is part of the Republican Party now, and I'm, you know, I hope they had a good time at the White House. It's not going to change anything. So uh, th th this idea that they have somehow uncovered any fraud or there was any fraud is absurd. The governor certified the presidential election results for Joe Biden. That can't be changed. And these down ballot races, if they're not certified, we don't have a House. Or have the, our state senate, and those are controlled by Republicans. So they're they're literally trying to make the argument that there was fraud with Joe Biden's race, but my race that was there was no fraud in my in that race. So it's it, there's absolutely no basis in reality, but that's never stopped them from lying. But again, we have long passed the point of turning our backs collectively on this this you know yelling fire in a crowded theater when there is no fraud. It's absolutely a lie. It's not a dispute. It's an absolute lie designed to damage the American franchise. And in Pennsylvania, it's not going to change anything because we all know that Joe Biden is the president-elect. No matter how many, like I said, Amway conventions they have in hotel ballrooms across Pennsylvania.